So there's been an update for The Sims, and I want to try it out. I want to play it and, like, really let it just run loose and see what, like, what happens. I want to see how in-depth this goes. It, it's the Neighborhood Stories thing, but they updated it, and they added more to it. And I'm very curious as to what exactly all can happen. I played a little bit earlier, and one a sim died. <laughs> Like, a sim, a sim died from an accident, and I was like, whoa. So basically, what the update was, was uh, it added this thing, this configure neighborhood stories thing. So you can change up the neighborhood stories for your household, and then, like, the other households, which is just the households that exist in the world that you're not playing. Um, and I haven't tested what happens if you turn it on for your households yet, so I am curious about that. So this is my Sunset Valley save file, where I've made a bunch of Sims from Sunset Valley, which you will know about if you've ever played The Sims 3. But I made a bunch of Sunset Valley Sims because I was just missing The Sims 3 one day, and then I was like, you know what I should do? I should make all the Sunset Valley Sims in The Sims 4. So I didn't make all of them, but I made a, a really good amount of them. And I placed them all in the world, and I gave them all, like, jobs and stuff. And I'm just going to turn on Neighborhood Stories and play for a little bit, and I'm just gonna see what happens. They can join a career, they can move out, they can move in, they can have a baby, they can retire from their career, they can leave a career, they can adopt cats and dogs, adopt a child, and they can die in accidents. <laughs> and <laughs> this is what I wanna see. I wanna see what happens if your sim dies in an accident in one of your households. Maybe we just play like Christopher Steele since he's just like a single sim. Christopher Steele is lucky by nature. Things have always come easy for him, which is starting to get boring. Now that he's in a brand new town with no friends or no job, how will he fare? I mean, I just, I guess I should just get into it. Let's just play Christopher Steele because he's like a single sim. So we can have as many sims as possible be affected by the, the whatever. I don't know how long it will take for something to trigger. That's my thing. Um, when I played in my other save file, it didn't take very long. It was literally like, like I played like a day and then something triggered. I played like a couple days and then I checked the mailbox and it was like, Brent Hecking has died. <laughs> and I was like, holy shit, what? I, I think this is a really cool idea though, like what the Sims team is, has done with this. Because like having these things be able to happen to the Sims around you, like having them be able to die and like decide to have babies on their own and like do all that kind of stuff is really cool. I've even had, I had a pop-up earlier where someone asked should i get into a relationship with this other sim and i thought that was very cool as well so so what you do is for the neighborhood stories thing you click on the mailbox and you check recent neighborhood stories and then like a pop-up will think will show up right here and it says nothing of note has happened recently check back tomorrow so i'm very curious as to how it's going to ruin my sunset valley family or not maybe it won't i don't know maybe it won't do anything <laughs> you know what we're just doing this for the neighborhood stories thing i'm just going to mother load it because Christopher Steele has a lot of money in the in the in Sunset Valley, if I remember correctly. Maybe he doesn't, and I'm making that up. But either way, I'm just gonna mother load it. We're not gonna have a job. We're gonna oh hey Marty Marty Keaton, let's introduce ourselves to Marty. Maybe Marty can be our friend, and then he can die in a tragic accident mm -hmm. with neighborhood stories. Yeah. And we're gonna have a deep convo in my house. I just met this man on the street, and I've I've brought him into my home. He's wearing a suit. And tomorrow we'll check the mailbox and we'll see if anything crazy happened. And if it happened to our sims. I'm also curious if it will give me like a notification for my households. Like the households that are set to be my, as my played households. The Chopper household recently moved into Oasis Springs. Okay, that's see that's very interesting. Alright. So has anything else happened or is it just like the one thing per day? A toddler was adopted by the Sunset Valley Bunch household. Oh, wow. They adopted a kid. They have, like, a lot of kids. Okay, but that's one of my played households. Jade, Rosa, and I were planning to spend some casual time. Yeah, do it. Okay, so... Okay, so my households can just adopt a kid, but it doesn't... I guess it doesn't notify me unless I check myself. So my households could just get totally, like, whack wacky. And I wouldn't even know until I checked. Oh wow, a lot of stuff really changed. Let's go into um, Manage Worlds and look. So we'll open up my households. The Bunch household is loading because something happened. 
It looks like it was just the Bunch household. They adopted a toddler. Yeah, there's just a random toddler in their household, which is crazy because they already had four kids, but I guess do do your thing. Um, it doesn't look like anything else has changed. I'm excited now. <laughs> this is cool. Uh, nothing of note has happened. Okay. So I wonder if I had stayed in the game if it would have kept telling me other stuff. But it looks like, if not, if this is all that happened, it looks like one, two, three, four, four things happened after one night in game. That's really cool. You're so notorious that one of my unscrupulous friends has been asking to meet you. Can I give them your number? Yeah, do it. Tell them to call me up. <laughs> Tell them to ring the line. If it's not obvious, I am trying to get him to start a fire. I'm just, I'm just here waiting for things. I'm just waiting for horrible things to happen to all of you. <laughs> so I might as well meet you. Oh, are they all leaving? No, they just are going out. So they don't like my house. It smells in there, I guess. Anything happened yet? No. Okay. I'll check tomorrow. <laughs> I'm so impatient with the mailbox. I just want to like speed through the day. Oh, what did he just catch? He just caught an object. Oh, he caught a cow plant. You can catch cow plant berries in here? Okay, go to bed. And then in the morning, we're going to check the mailbox. I'm so excited. I'm so excited to see what happened. I'll wait till he wakes up. I want Chris to be here, too, to see this. Oh, he's feeling flirty. Uh-oh, I forgot he was romantic. Uh-oh. <laughs> Let's take a seamy shower. <laughs> anyway, I gotta check this mailbox now. Alex Moye. Is that is it Moye? Or is it Moyer? I'm gonna say Moye, and the Moye household has started a job as a leaf cutter. Okay, so someone started a new job. Anything else? The Dreamer household has moved into Henford on Bagley. Okay, interesting. A child was adopted. A child was adopted by the Charm family household. Okay, cool, cool. Nothing else. Ah, uh, okay, so that time... Only three things happened that time. Okay, so it's just random. It's just a random... I want someone to die. <laughs> I just... I want... I want to see what happens when someone dies. Water your cow plant. I think I'm... I mean, that pretty much probably covers it. So these different events can happen to people. What if I change it to... Hold on. <laughs> what if I change it to just die in accidents? And I enable just die in accidents and nothing else on neighborhood stories. Will that make people die in accidents more often? That's the real question. Okay, we're doing new science now. I'm going to try and see if I can force it. I want to see if I can force it. In my other gameplay, it was Brent Hecking, and he died from sticking his hand in an electrical outlet or something like that. But yeah, we'll just take care of our cow plant for a day. And actually, can I? <laughs> we got a cow plant. Okay, let's feed our cow plant. Um, actually don't feed the cow plant because I might need it later. If nobody dies in this video by accident, I'm going to make someone die and it's going to be Christopher. Christopher, I'm bored of you already. I'm bored of, I'm bored of you. I wish to see some action. I wish to see people perish. We're going to play with the cow. The cow plant is so iconic. Look at it. Look at her. Oh my God. She's beautiful. Leighton Sakamoto is calling me. Hey, Christopher, Kayla Fleming has asked me out on a date. Should I say yes? Okay, so this is a part of the update too. I think it is. It must be. Because I've never seen this before. Where people will ask you if they should go on dates with people. If they should get into a relationship with people. And I've never said yes before. So I'm going to say yes. Romance is in the air. Do it. That's so cool. We're just collecting pets. That's what we're doing. We're collecting pets while we wait for terrible things to happen to our neighbors. <laughs> That's this whole stream so far. Oh, look. That is kind of creepy. Oh, it's got a face! Whoa. That's kind of sick, though. Go eat the cake. <laughs> Bye. Bye. <laughs> oh, that never gets old for me. I love that every time. The first time, they don't die. At least I don't think they can die. I think they have to get eaten twice. Which is honestly kind of dumb. Like, just commit, you know? Get the cow plant absolutely raving. 
You won't believe it. Kayla Fleming is such a sweetheart. I'm in love. Congrats. Oh, that's so cool. That's so cool. Oh, I love that. I will. I think I'm going to do one more day. I'm going to wait one more day to see if anybody dies. And if nobody dies, we're going to kill Christopher. And then, <laughs> and then I'll do something else. Wait, no. No, Leighton. Oh, my God. Did he actually get eaten? <laughs> Oh no, okay. <laughs> Spinning it back up. I don't know why that's always so funny to me. Oh, we can check the mailbox for gossip. Okay, hold on. Let me wait for Christopher to wake up and see if I successfully caused the death of any Sims. No. God damn it! Nothing of note has happened. Check back tomorrow. Well, that might be the last straw. I might have just lost my dang temper with this game. I wanted it to kill somebody. Okay, no, you know what? We're gonna sleep, and if the cow plant is still alive when we wake up, Christopher's dead. Oh, no, it died! <laughs> Chowder, no! <laughs> we still have this guy. Uh, Christopher, could you come out here for a second? I just want you to- I just wanted you to, I just want to show you something real quick. Well, 